John chapter 4, uh, verse 14. And it reads like this. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. You may be seated in Jesus' name. I've got a few more scriptures that I want to add to it and uh, try my very, very best to uh, bring these together and bring out the Lord's Word. Uh, also, in um, John uh, chapter 6, starting with verse 35, it says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Isaiah 12 and 3, Therefore with joy ye shall draw water out of the wells out of salvation. Amen. And also, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Also, if I can get this right here, um, Matthew 5 and 6, those that do, blessed are they, that, uh, those that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Right. Pastor, would you pray? Great God of heaven, as we come before you tonight, one more time. God, thank you, Lord, for the spirit that we feel. Thank you for your presence, God. Uh, Lord, we ask that you'd anoint Brother Bobby tonight, Lord. Uh, God, I pray that you bless and anoint our ears. Uh, God, let us hear and receive from thy word tonight. Uh, talk to every heart. Bless each and every home that's represented, Lord, in this house tonight. Uh, God, we'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Mm. I certainly thank the Lord for the good water. A lot of people don't like water. But but you know, I tell them all the time, if the well wasn't run dry, you'd miss it. Praise the Lord. Um, I am going to try my very best tonight. Uh, I'm going to also speak from my heart tonight. And uh, it bring forth God's word, and I pray that uh, through His word that, that there be something there that will stir you. I pray that there be something also to move you, and I pray also that there will be a change. Amen. But as I, Amen, was went I went to the uh, visitation, Amen. Um, just to hear a few days ago, my uncle passed away, and I, I had told Brother Becker about it, and uh, they had been uh, three deaths in seven months, my dad and his younger brother and uh, one of my dad's uh, older brothers. And uh, that's a great impact of uh, those deaths, that the, the people are so close and dear to you, just in a short time frame. Amen. And I'm so thankful tonight. Amen. For the prayers of the church and for our pastor, I can tell you that I felt those prayers. Amen. That uh, Brother Becker, I was strengthened and my heart was strengthened. And uh, also those that were around me, uh, that were strengthened also. Yeah. So I'm very thankful for that tonight. But I saw, amen, my aunt, whom I don't ever hardly ever see. And she used to be many years ago a Holy Ghost filled Pentecost apostolic uh, and she had walked away sometime years ago you might say and every time I see her it's so hard to get away from her she just uh, talks to me about church and uh, about the word of the Lord and, and all and I asked her I said well I said are you going and amen and she said no I'm, I'm not but you know there's a church right behind my house where I'm at amen and sometimes I just begin to open my ear up and I begin to listen to the, the songs that are sung and sometimes I hear the preaching brother beggar that it, uh, the preaching's going on and uh, she went to the store one night and began to talk to a lady that she knew with the church amen and uh, she said but I don't have no dresses and she believes in wearing dresses but if she began to share that testimony with me 
Amen. And I saw the desire. I saw the hunger. Amen. That was inside of her. But she began to just keep on saying that how that she would be outside of the building. Amen. And, and just uh, listening to the preaching and listening to the singing. And I began to tell her, Aunt, you don't have to stand on the outside of the church when you can be on the inside being a part of the church. Right. Right. Come on, somebody. They're out there stuck out to me. Um, the other night when she began to share that with me and I began to think about how many, amen, um, Christians, amen, sometimes they're standing on the outside uh, looking in. And this is my, if I could call this night, outside looking in. Outside looking in. How many people that you know today, amen, that are outside of the church and they're looking on the inside? How many backsliders tonight do we know tonight that they're on the outside, but they're looking in? That how bad that they want to make their way to the house of the Lord, but they're still on the outside of looking in? I mean, it seems to be that Satan has got a wall, I mean, up between them, and he's got some of them bound. And, and I don't want to go too far too deep, but as I have heard, that reason why she can't make her way in is because Satan's got her bound by the bar. Come on, somebody. Sometimes when we get out and about in the world and we kind of go astray, sometimes if we give an inch to the devil, amen, he'll take them all. Amen. He'll take us farther. Amen. That we really want to go. Amen. When we really don't want or have any intention to, to uh, go that far, but you know, it's like uh, that. It, but I mean, the word says that even the dog, the dog goes back out into. Uh, the, the returns to its vomit. Yes. Amen. But that stuck with me and it just really stirred my heart how that she's just standing on outside and then looking in and just listening. And just really want to be a part, amen, of the church just so bad. But still yet, amen, that Satan has her bound with the addiction. Come on. All right. Hallelujah. Oh, Y'all just bear with me just for a little while tonight. Amen. I'm going to bring some things out that uh, a lot of things are going to come to your memory um, over in the past years for some of you. Amen. That was brought up in this path and also in this way. Hallelujah. But I want you to know tonight, amen, that there is some tonight that is studying looking in. But I want you to know, amen, that there is some tonight that's in a church, Brother Becker. That they're on the outside, so to speak, and they're looking in. Hallelujah. Yeah. As the ball players sometimes, amen, whether it be a baseball player, I mean, whether it be a football player, sometimes they have, I mean, if you might say, they have extra uh, men on the side, amen, to, to, to stay in a dugout in case uh, they need backup or in case someone gets hurt. All right. Hallelujah. And I got to thinking about the church today. Amen. Sometimes, amen, that that the team and the coach, sometimes they will draft or they will bring somebody in from a dugout to, to go out there where somebody is uh, endangered or injured in the game or whatever, and they'll leave the dugout and they'll go right in and, and fill in. And I got to thinking about also, Brother Becker, how sometimes they, amen, that the church today, amen, how there are some Christians, amen, that are in the dugout. Come on, somebody. Y'all just hang with me a little bit. Hallelujah. Oh, God. How that the church for some are still in, they're in a dugout. Amen. They have been in the dugout just a little bit too long. Praise the Lord. Right. Come on. They have been in the dugout just a little bit too long instead of getting out and being a part of the church. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want you to know something tonight. Amen. That uh, me and my wife just a few nights ago, we were talking about, amen, about uh, being stagnated. Amen. And uh, amen, if the water stops moving, so to speak, that the, the water will, amen, it will get stagnated. It will get stale. Amen. You can't drink it out. It won't be no good. But I want you to know tonight that uh, John 37, 7, 37 says, but uh, if any man thirsts, let him come to me and drink. And he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, thou his belly should flow rivers of living water. Now I want you to get that just for a minute. Amen. It says rivers. 
Amen. It didn't say river, but I want you to know something tonight that the Lord has many rivers tonight. Yeah. Sometimes I begin to think about how amen, we was brought up, amen, many years ago out in the country and uh, amen, when the water when it rained and the dishes get full, amen, we get out there barefooted, sister Carrie, and and uh, just slopping around and slosh around in these uh, ditches about knee high or, or ankle, whatever the case. But uh, I was thinking about, you know, that's fun. And that's good. But I was thinking about the river. When you, amen, are in a river, sometimes it's deep, and sometimes, Brother Manley, you can swim in that river. But I want you to know something tonight. I'm talking about something spiritual. Amen. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost tonight. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And, uh, amen, there has been so long sometimes that uh, the Christians today is sitting on a pew, sort of speaking, or in a dugout, if you will. Amen. And they've been there so long. Amen. To the point where they're getting dry. Come on, somebody. Come on, you're doing all right. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Help us tonight. If any man thirsts, let him come to me and drink. And he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, all his belly shall flow. Rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. The water that's inside of you that goes swarming and, and stirring inside of you. I mean, that's why sometimes, I mean, when, uh, I, I mean, whether the sister or brother in the Lord, I mean, gets to really begins to move in the Lord as the Spirit begins to move, or, amen, or pastor up here just to preach his heart out, my, and just the other night, he was preaching the word, I tell you, amen, it's just a curious like He was just doing this right here. He was stirring it up. He was stirring it up. My Lord, my Lord, I tell you. We need, amen, to, amen, step out of the dugout, so to speak, if you will, amen, and get there, get involved, and get wet. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Isaiah 12 and 3 says, Therefore with joy you shall draw waters out of the wells of salvation. Yes, sir. Out of the wells of salvation. Out of the wells of salvation. Let me turn over just for a minute. Hallelujah. Joy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Out of the wells of salvation. Therefore, with joy shall sure draw water out of the wells of salvation. Now, it did not say well, it said wells. As you heard a while ago about John 7, 37, it said rivers. It didn't say river. Y'all bear with me. Come on. This can get deep. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore with joy you should draw water out of the wells of salvation. You see, he has rivers and he has wells. Yes. Amen. Jesus is that well tonight. Come on now. Amen. He is that well tonight. Amen. And uh, praise the Lord. We we don't have to amen um, if you will uh, dry up so to speak when we can come to the house of the Lord. Amen. We can get all that we want from the Lord but uh, amen that if we don't. Amen. I feel like that we're missing out tonight. Amen. Um, on the blessings of God because you see I mean, God has, amen, more than enough, amen, for you and I. Amen. He has many rivers, amen, tonight. He has wells of salvation, amen. And I tell you, that well's deep, amen. That never, that well, amen, never will run dry. Amen. We know, amen, when Jesus was uh, dealing and speaking with the uh, Samaritan woman, amen, he began to tell her, he says, uh, he says, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, should never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him the well of water springing up in everlasting life. Oh, yes. I want you to know something tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. That well springing up into everlasting life. Amen. I begin to think sometimes, Brother Baker, when we're in service a lot of times, amen, when you see your fellow brother or sister Amen. They overflow with joy. Amen. And then you see them run and you see them shout and you see them just really getting involved. Amen. Uh, amen. Getting sort of kind of beside himself, if you will. 
It's because they have something inside, amen, they cannot contain. Amen. I want you to know tonight, amen, you're serving the Lord tonight, amen, that has uh, wells tonight, amen, he has many rivers tonight. I want you to know something. Amen. We know that the temple, this is the temple of the living God. Amen. If you have the Lord in you tonight, amen, if you have the spirit of the Lord in you tonight, amen, you have a rivers inside of you that's flowing, a constant flow. Hallelujah. I want you to know something tonight. I don't know about you, but when I come to the house, Lord, I can't stand still. Amen. I had to move. I mean, I had to do something because the Lord is moving. The Spirit of the Lord is moving. Amen. Upon me and in me. Amen. And through me. Amen. And and uh, I remember, amen, many years ago that uh, when I'd always go to bed, before I went to bed, I would seek for the Holy Ghost. And I would pray to the Lord, God, feel me. God, feel me. God, feel me. And I believed and I knew He would, but I didn't know when. And I believed that one, about 4 o'clock one morning, amen. <laughs> That the Spirit of the Lord just came over me and I felt something this morning inside my belly. Amen. I didn't know what it was, but again, I began to tell a preacher, Amen, just a few days after that, and he began to tell me and quote this scripture to me. Then it says, If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. And it, if any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. And he that believeth on me, as scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yes. And what was happening was, Amen, as I began to feel that quiver and just rolling in my stomach, it scared me because I didn't know what it was. But once that preacher began to tell me about what was taking place, I mean, what was happening, I began to have an understanding about, I mean, that the Lord was filling me with His Spirit. Hallelujah. But I want you to know tonight, amen, sometimes that we don't realize tonight how blessed we really are. Amen. We don't really uh, realize tonight just how far the, real, the Lord has really uh, brought us to oh, from yeah. where we once were. Yes. But I, I want you to know tonight that uh, when we... Amen. We're coming up many years ago. Amen. We had an old uh, hand pump, Brother Becker. It was red, if I can remember. And uh, I was just a knee high grasshopper yeah. Yeah. out there. Some of you elders remember this. And, and, uh, but you had to go out there, amen, whether it be a midsummer day or a midwinter. But you had to go out there and you had to just pour a little bit of water, amen, just, uh, you know, at a time, and can you hear some uh, construction going on, amen, but, you know, that little bit just wasn't enough, so it took a lot more. Yeah. And as you began to pour that water inside that, that pump, that well right there, that pipe, amen, and began to press or push that handle there on that pump, you began to hear that water just slosh in there. And you began to get a little excited, Brother Beckham, because yeah. you know that water was coming. But it wasn't quite there yet, so you just begin to pour a pitcher of water into that uh, pump, or just a little bit more, and just keep hammering. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I'm getting somewhere. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And as you keep pumping, you begin to hear that water just coming. I mean, there it comes out of spout. Yeah. And I'm talking about good and cold, nigh and fresh. Yes, then you sir. begin to get your pills. Uh, your buckets out there and whatever you take to the house if you want a bath water some of you know about this if you want to wash your dishes if you want to cook that's what you did yeah. amen i tell you we came a long ways in technology oh yeah <laughs> come on so this man i hear that all uh, has invented things i thank god for the uh the knowledge and ability amen to do all this because we definitely came a long ways but i want you to know something we kind of graduated from that poem Brother Becker, we went to a Lurio pump. Y'all yeah. know about them. Yeah. Bring back memories, doesn't it? But I want you to know, that was even better. Because then, the water would run in the house. Yeah. But the Lurio pump, you had to plug it up out there somewhere. You had electric. Amen. And I tell you, it wasn't so fun when that belt began to break. You was out of water. All water supplies shut off to your house. You didn't have none. That was it. Amen. Or if your motor goes out in the midnight hour. Somebody know about that? We have went through so many motors <laughs> growing up just to have water. And I'll tell you, amen, I thought, my, this is cool. You go out there and you plug that thing into that socket out there outside and this smoke would just be flying. And, but I tell you, but thank God that when that Lurio pump is to be again to kick in and water is running through the house, we had water. Well, some few years later, amen, after that, amen, we graduated from the Lurio pump. 
Then we had a real deal. Amen. Uh, we finally got water out there. Amen. I was, I was digging from the from uh, uptown all the way out there. We live in a in a stitch, you might call them backwoods, uh, over down Johnny Cash over there. Amen. And and my Lord. And I thank God because I'm gonna tell you that well water it was good, but some people call it the good old days. Some was good, some was bad. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you know they brought that city water all the way as I was digging. I couldn't wait to get that city water to my house. And they finally made it, amen. They put the meter out there in the yard. They ain't never been one, Brother Becker. Never meter. Never but there was a meter, they put a meter out there and hook up water. And uh, we done the lines and put them to the house. And uh, my Lord, we had city water. Turn on a faucet. And what you know, you didn't have to go out there no more, Brother Becker, and pry that pump. You didn't have to go out there and prime that pump anymore. You didn't have to go out there and worry about a belt broken on a Larry O'Pump uh, Larry or a motor being burned up or whatever the case. But I tell you, we had running water. It's go inside, it's turn that faucet on like we are today. We got running water. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want you to know something tonight. Yes. We are blessed yes. beyond measure. Right. Why? Stand outside or looking in and not receiving what the Lord would have us receive. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, I'm the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that be with me shall never thirst. Right. Right. Never thirst. Amen. Tonight I want to say that if we are thirsting, amen, it is our own fault. Amen, because I assure you. And I do want to speak from my heart tonight. I do want to say this, that if we are not moving forward in the Lord tonight, amen, if we are not moving forward, amen, in the Holy Ghost, I tell you, we will spiritually die. I believe Jesus spoke this and said this. It is expedient for me to go away. And he says, if I do not go away, he says, amen, the comforter will not come. But if I go away, I will send another comforter. And that comforter tonight is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I want you to know tonight, amen, that if you do not have the Holy Ghost tonight, I want you to know something. You need it. And you need it. You've got to have it. And I'll tell you tonight, amen, that you don't know what kind of blessing, amen, you are missing God on tonight. Come on now. My, I thought, my Lord, when I got in, I said, Lord, I said, I want everything you've got to offer me. I said, nothing, nothing less. I said, I want everything you have in store for me. Right. Everything that this book right here says, I want. The Bible says all the promises of God are yea and amen. Lord, you promised it. I want it. Amen. Those of you tonight have not got the Holy Ghost. I want you to know tonight you need it. I mean, you've got to have it. Praise the Lord. I tell you, you don't know. I tell you, the Holy Ghost will keep you in that midnight hour when you're not, you are cannot keep yourself. Praise That's the Lord. Right. Amen. It will be your comfort during the time of need. Amen. It will be your strength in the time of need. That's amen. Right. It will be, be your deliverance. It will be your help. Amen. amen. I tell you, the Holy Ghost will carry you further than you ever can imagine. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Somebody go ahead and give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You young people, amen, you elders tonight, amen, whoever you may be, you know who you are, amen, tonight God knows who you are, but I want you to know something tonight, amen, if you are standing on, on outside of the church and looking in, amen, you need to step back in. Yeah. And get in and get wet. Yeah. Right. Amen, you need to step back into the church and stop looking in. Amen. Amen. We have been in the dugout, if you will, too long. We need to get out of the dugout. Amen. We need to get involved and be a part of the church. Amen. Where right. the living of waters, amen, they're rolling. Amen. They're moving. Amen. My, I tell you, amen, that well that the Lord has, it is deep. Amen. I tell you, you can get mighty wet. You can get mighty soaking. I tell you, every single service, amen, I put myself on a pedestal, but I want you to know something. Amen. I refuse to settle for less. I want you to know, I refuse, amen, tonight to set up for last because I want you to know something. Tonight our Lord has more than enough for you. He has more than enough for I. Amen. Why set up for last? Oh, my. Give me the Lord a hand up for praise. Hallelujah. 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 And that lady of my aunt just standing on outside, a backslide from way back from many years ago, just standing on outside and just listening, hearing the preaching, hearing the singing, wanting to be a part. I want you to know something. You're, you're blessed tonight. You can be a part. 
I mean, you're here and the Lord has brought you a long ways. I mean, he's brought me a long ways. We've been through a lot of things, amen. And the Lord's going to keep carrying us through. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise God. Oh, my. Amen. Some people may say, well, you know, I don't have to do this or I don't have to do that. Well, I don't act like that or I don't shout like that. I don't worship like that. I don't move like that. I don't run like that. But I want you to know something. Amen. Tonight, can I tell you tonight from my heart and through the experience that I've had with the Lord. I mean, when the Lord is moving in you mightily. Amen. When, it's, when you have the rivers of the living water flowing through you from your innermost being tonight, I want you to know something. Amen. You ain't, you ain't got nothing but to, uh, to move. Amen. And it will cause you to move. Amen. Whether you want to move or not. Well, I might act a little crazy. I might act a little stupid. The devil might tell you, well, you better not do that because they're going to think you're a little strange and peculiar. Can I tell you, no, we are peculiar. Yeah. We are strange. We are different. Yes, Amen. Lord. My, I tell you, it, my Lord, have mercy. Come on now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's so give the Lord a hand of praise. Oh, yes, Lord. While I stand on the outside looking in, I want you to know that the rivers of living water, they are active. And they flow continually, 24-7, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 52 weeks in a year, continue a flow of God. I mean, we need a continued flow, amen, of God's Spirit flowing through us uh, daily. Praise the Lord, I tell you, that's why sometimes, amen. Brother Becker, I thank God that we are part of this church because I'll tell you why. I mean, this is a living church. This is a lively church, praise the Lord, I'll tell you. I mean, there's not a time. River's alive. Come on. River's alive. River's alive. All right. Get in the river. Amen. Let the life begin to flow through you. Hallelujah. You want life? Do you feel down and discouraged and out and about on a daily basis? I want you to know something tonight. Get in the river. Get in the river. Let it flow through you, in you, and out of you tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The world today needs this right here. They need experienced. They need experience the living water. They were experiencing tonight the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And a lot of the church one today they need experience this living water, the Holy Ghost. Yeah. This many rivers, a river of life flowing through me, in me, and out of me. That's why I tell you, Brother Becker, Ma, when I'm at home, I'm in a church. There's a stirring inside of me. I, was, uh, I got a constant pace. I got there's a constant flow. There's a constant movement. Amen. I, I'm speaking in tongues under my breath. Amen. I'm worshiping the Lord. Amen. I'm singing a song. Amen. I'm singing a new song because I tell you, every day I have a new walk. Come on, somebody. The walk that I had yesterday, that was then. But I have a walk. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Give the Lord a hand up of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Sitting in a dugout too long. Outside looking in. That's sad. That is very sad. We don't have to sit on the outside of the dugout looking in when we can get in. Amen. And be a part of the church. Let there be a free, constant flow of God's Spirit and God's grace flowing through you, in you, and out of you. Amen. Amen. God is looking for vessels all over yeah. the world today to work through, in, and out of. But where are we at? Are we on the outside looking in in the dugout? But I want to encourage you tonight. You really, and we really don't know, amen, what kind of blessings we are really missing out of, amen, when we're on the outside looking in, not being a part and involved. Hallelujah. When the Lord, I tell you, is looking down, amen, when He's sending, sending that Holy Ghost rain, amen, the services, amen, that we have had. Here and y'all all have experienced that y'all have all been in it. But for those sometimes I tell you, don't have the urge to move. Can I tell you tonight, amen, that amen, there is stagnation that's taking place some time ago. Amen. The water will get stagnant if there's not a continued flow and a continued movement in your spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to continue to exercise. We have to continue to flow. I believe the Bible says in the book of Jude, Amen. Rather than building up yourselves in your most holy faith, 
praying in the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Lord tonight wants us to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We want to be strengthened in the Lord tonight. Amen. We want to be built up. Amen. Edified. Amen. Amen. We want to pray. We want to hear a word from God. But I'm going to tell you. Amen. How can we hear a word from God? Amen. We're still in a dugout. Come on, somebody. I feel that. Hallelujah. How can we hear from God if we're on a dugout and outside of the church, so to speak, and looking in and not being a part? Come on now. I believe daily, amen, that the Lord wants us to fall on our face. Amen. And seek Him and pray to Him and worship Him. Amen. And worship Him in that heavenly language. There's nothing wrong with worshiping Him in that heavenly language. Praise the Lord. Building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. I tell you, I don't want the baby talk tonight. Praise the Lord. I remember when I first received the Holy Ghost many years ago. Amen. My wife began to ask her grandmother. Amen. And as the Spirit of the Lord was giving utterance, my wife said, well, when is it going to turn into words? And grandma says, well, just give it a little bit of time and it'll come forth. And I began to whine like a baby and cry and, and everything. And, and uh, still I had the utterance. Amen. But all of a sudden, just a little bit later, amen, I tell you. Amen. The words begin to just to flow, begin to come out. And I tell you, within my innermost being, right here, amen, I begin just to feel the flow of the river of life flowing out of me. Hallelujah. I want you to know you can have that same experience, young people, tonight. I tell you, yeah. don't let the devil in hell tell you, amen, that it's not for you. Amen. I tell you, because he's robbing you of your blessing. Come on, somebody. You hear me tonight? Praise the Lord. I mean, this is from the Lord tonight, I tell you, because He wants to fill you. Amen. Amen. Tonight, God wants to bless you. Yeah. Praise the Lord, because you have been robbed of your blessing. Amen. We need to just shut the devil out tonight. Amen. We need to just shut him out tonight and listen and take heed to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Outside looking in. What a bad place to be. What a bad place to be outside looking in. Letting the water get stagnated. And still, before you know it, the devil's done robbed you worship. He's done robbed your prayer life. He's still in there. Oh, yeah, he's, he's robbing you from your joy. Therefore, with joy, you should draw waters out of the wells of salvation. There's joy. And the devil's robbing you. He's still in you because of uh, being on the outside looking in. And being in the dugout yeah, when we are to walk out of there. Amen. Every time the service is open and walk in here expecting a mighty move of God, a flowing of His grace and His mercy and His love and His Spirit is flowing through us, in us and out of us. Praise the Lord. But I tell you, Amen. I don't want to just sit back, Amen. Just, just get a blessing from somebody else, Amen. Because I want to get receive my own blessing from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Outside looking in. There is backsliders all over outside looking in. Amen. Y'all pray for our daughter. She's I, I love for her being here tonight. She's not here tonight. Amen. She's backslid, but she asks her mom, Well, how is church? What was church like? How is church? Thank you, Jesus. She's getting interested, Sister Julie. She's getting interested. And I feel that the Lord is stirring. I feel the Lord is drawing and moving upon her this one last time. Amen. And I tell you. Amen. Um, she uh this here not too long ago, she wiped her hair off. She has a pretty hair and it's way down here uh, around about her back somewhere. Amen. And she uh, wiped it off. But you know, it really got to me and it really bothered me. But you know, and I talked to a lady here that's not too long ago in the hospital and just being a, she began to ask me about her daughter and I began to share and talk to her. Amen. And, uh, and everything. And, and she began to share with us, you know, well, your daughter bobbed her hair off. But you know what? At least it's not a needle in her arm. Come on, somebody. My, my, my. But I'm so thankful tonight that the Lord is, is married to a backslider tonight. Amen. No matter amen, what we do in our life today. Amen. My, even though that, that the wrath of God is being is kindled and he's uh, fury. Amen. That I want you to know tonight, whatever it may be in a situation, amen, that a child of God is going through and dealing with. But I want you to know that his hand is still stretched out. <laughs> yeah. I want you to know that hand is still stretched out. It's way down there, very low, amen, as this once before were, amen. He brought us up out of that horrible pit and out of that clay, and he set our feet upon that rock. Amen. He established our goings. Yeah. Hallelujah. He is able for those backsliders tonight. He's able to heal each and every one of them. Amen. He's, he's able to bring them back in the fold tonight. Right. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. I believe if our daughter was to come in, this is how much that I know that the church has been praying. 
I know this is how much that we've been praying, and I believe that our daughter just walked through those doors one time. I believe, Brother Becker, whoo, that the power of God, I believe that the Spirit of God that's in this place, the Spirit and the power of conviction will fall upon her so heavily. Amen. That she won't have no choice but to come to these altars. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. I'm, talking, I'm still talking about the, the river of life tonight. Amen. The wells of salvation. Hallelujah. Come on. We all have loved ones out there. Amen. That has walked away from God. That is backslidden. But I want you to know something tonight. Amen. The devil might hate tell you. Amen. Just to give up. Quit praying. Cause is no use. Amen. They've been out so long. Amen. That the heart is calloused and hard. But you know what? It may help be. It may help be. But I want you to know something. The word of the Lord says that uh, He is able to take the hard stone and turn it to a hard flesh. I believe He'll do that one more time, don't you? Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But I want you to know if it's been so long that you have really felt the Lord move in your life like He once did, I want you to know something tonight. Stop letting the devil rob you of your blessing. If we are not moving tonight in the Lord as we should, amen, our growth in the Lord will be stunned. Come on, somebody. On a daily basis, I believe that there will be a change, and I believe also there will be a growth daily. Amen. Hallelujah. Outside looking in. He'll take care of you. He'll satisfy your thirst. He'll satisfy your hunger. And ye shall be filled. You know, a lot of people come to these altars, amen, and have sought for the Holy Ghost. They have seeked and seeked and seeked for the Holy Ghost, but still yet, they have not received the Holy Ghost. And why is that? I pray without ceasing. I would pray every night to go with the bed, Brother Becker, singing for the Holy Ghost, because I wanted His Spirit. I mean, I wanted that power, Sister Julie, where it says, in Acts 1 and 8, it says, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes upon you. I wanted that power. I've seen the other uh, sisters and brothers in the Lord, the joy that they had when they began to sing and when they began to worship, amen, and not seeing a difference in them. And I saw the joy, amen, that they had upon them and in their face. I mean, I wanted that. I wanted part of that. But why, I mean, did it take me for nine months to receive the Holy Ghost? And, and some of these others, I mean, that's been seeking for the Holy Ghost may have gotten discouraged and said, well, it's not for me and God ain't going to give it to me. That's a lie from hell. Don't listen to the devil. God wants to fill you. And for those that has not been renewed in a mighty long time, God wants to renew you. Amen. He wants that river of life flowing through you, in you, and out of you. Amen. It's very important. Amen. For this uh, this walk of life. Amen. That we're down in this journey that we're going down. Amen. But I want to encourage you tonight. If you do not have the Holy Ghost, I would fall flat on my face or I hit these altars. I'll tell you. But I want you to know, I want to say this. That I was begging so bad and so hard and pleading for God, for God to fill me. And I was trying and striving and laboring so much that the Lord could not even come through to even fill me with His Spirit because I had a wall, amen, up between me and God where God couldn't do anything. Because Brother Bobby is trying to get it himself. Amen. You can't work for it. Come on, somebody. You can't, you can't work for it. You cannot labor for God's Spirit, for the Holy Spirit, for the Holy Ghost. It's a promise. It's a promise to you. It's a gift. But you know, I had a preacher man one time talk to me. Amen. I hadn't explained to me the understanding about receiving God's Spirit. He said, my wife, listen to me, church. Listen to me, young people and elders. He said, his wife done the same thing you did. She did the same thing you did for so long. She pleaded and she begged and she worked and she labored. She done everything she knew to do with herself. Still yet, she could not receive and the Lord opened up to him one day, amen, and 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 began to speak to him and tell and to him and to tell his wife, look, you don't have to labor, you don't have to work, you don't have to beg. It plainly says my word. 
Amen. That it is a promise. It is a gift from God. And he said that he told her, he says, whatever, I can't think of what his wife's name. He says, all the Lord wants you to do is praising for him. All he wants you to do is thank him for the Holy Ghost already, knowing that it's yours, knowing amen, that he's going to fill you with his spirit. And he began to share uh, with uh, her these things, amen, as the Lord would open up and reveal, amen, this, uh, this understanding passage where she could receive and where she could understand, amen, of the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I want you to know something. As he began to share, as he began to share this with her, her understanding and her knowledge began to just open up and receive this. Amen. Um, that all she had to do, I mean, was just praise the Lord for it already. Come on, somebody. That's all the, the Lord wants our praise. Amen. It's already been promised. Amen. It's a gift. Amen. From God. All the promises of God are yea and amen, each and every one of them. But you know, she did that. And she went to the altar that night, Brother Becker. And she began to praise the Lord. She began to thank the Lord for the Holy Ghost already, knowing that the Lord is going to fill her. The Lord filled her that night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same with me as he began to share with me this uh, passage, this understanding message. Amen. I went home as he began to share that with me. I went back home with my wife. I said, "Hon, I said, I feel more different than I ever felt before. I said, now I understand. I said, before I didn't understand, I didn't know. I've heard many passages. I've heard many, many, many messages uh, preached uh, on the Holy Ghost. And still yet, I have not received. I understand what I've been doing wrong. I understand that I have been pleading and begging and, and, and for mercy and for God just to fill me. And I've been laboring where to the point that there was a wall. I mean, up between me and God. And God could not come through. He could not do anything for me because Bobby was in a way. But I want you to know, as that preacher began to open up my understanding, began to tell me and reveal this to me, I saw it for the first time for nine months as I just beg of the Holy Ghost. But while I'm sitting back here right now, she can tell you the experience. I went back to her. Amen. I began to share with her and tell her, I know that I know that I know that I know that it's different. I feel something different already. I can't wait to get to service tonight. I want you to know something. That night I went to church. Amen. I'm sitting back here on a pew. Amen. As dear sister. Amen. I'm singing this song. Riding out your, riding out your storm. And as she sang that song, I felt like there was a, a magnet coming out from heaven. And picking up this piece of steel. And I felt something other than else. Tears, Brother Becker, just began to flow down my eyes. I've never felt this before, but I knew what it was. I knew what the Lord was doing and what He was wanting to do. And I went to the altar that night, Brother Josh. And as I was walking, I knelt down and I prayed. And I said, Lord, I understand that you want to fill me because it's your promise and it's a gift. But Father, right now, I praise you for the Holy Ghost. Knowing without a doubt that you want, you're going to fill me. And I'm going to give you thanks right now for it. I want you to know something all of a sudden. Come on, somebody. The Holy Ghost is being overshadowed me. I mean, the Holy Spirit began to come down. I mean, God.